Hello everyone. In the previous session, you had seen multiple document interface, right? In this session, we'll understand visual inheritance. See, the name is very simple and you can easily identify that it is completely related with inheritance concept. Why do we use inheritance? Basically, to reuse the functionality of a code, right? In the, in the short and simple way, we can say that. So, in visual inheritance, we are we, we are reusing the windows form again and again. So the thing is, let's say this form one is here and we need this UI in hundred other forms, right? So what will, what will you do? You will create hundred forms and you will create this UI again and again. You can actually copy and paste it, right? But you need this copy and paste hundred times. So to remove that, you know, to remove that barrier, what we can do, we can use something called as visual inheritance. Right, so you have this form one and you have this design. Let me drag and drop uh, two labels here. This is my label three and uh, label four. So what exactly this form is going to do? We have first name and last name. So if I put the first name and last name, when I hit the submit button, the name is going to be print printed inside this label three and label four. This is my requirement, right? So this is this is the requirement of. Uh, of this program so let me just remove this form one. okay now what I gonna do I will I will take one another window form right and that form is not the simple form see I go to visual inheritance demo the project I'll say add inside that new item you will not take you will not you will not take this uh, window form here the simple window form that is there you will not create you will not take this window form Instead of that, you will take inherited form. So when you when you when you when you when you hit OK here, or let me take another form here. I'll say form three. So when you add it, you see, is asking you which which is the parent form. So I will say form one is my parent. So this form one is going to be my parent, and I'll hit OK. So now see here, there are two forms. One is form one. And another one is this form three, which is having the same UI as of this. See, you see here, the same UI is getting. Now, one thing is, let me just build the solution here. Once I build it, yeah. So let me remove these things. They are completely okay. Let me remove this. Okay. Okay. So you see, I have this form three and form one. They are completely look similar. This form one is my parent, and this form one is going to be my child. You see, what is the difference here? The difference is uh, this parent form. These controls are completely movable. See, I can move anything, but inside the child form, I cannot do anything. They are completely locked down here. You cannot remove anything. You cannot move anything. You go to the properties of any control, they are completely grayed out. Okay, you cannot change the properties of any. So, th th these are the some of the things that you cannot do with the child inherited form, right? So, if we want to separate these form one and form two somehow, because this is not the you know general case in company or in the project, uh, even though your UI is completely okay, okay, 100 times they are the UI is going to be the same. But the functionality of a code is going to be different, right? We need to separate that out. So right now, if you want to separate this out, we need we need to change some of the things. See here. Now I will double click on this submit button and, and I will write uh, and I'll write some code. Let me build this. Things are okay. So I will write some code here. See label three dot text, and I will say. Uh, I'll say first name from parent is it's coming from text box one dot text right and the same thing I'm going to write for last name so it's going to be label four this is going to be the last name and this is coming from text box two so this is the thing. So when I run this, you see here, uh, 
when I submit your first name from parent and first last name from parent. So this is my parent form. Remember this, okay? So now let's say a requirement is something like when I hit submit button here, the functionality or the code written inside this label three and label four looks something like this. First name from child is Nilesh and last name from child is Jado. Something like this I need, right? But we cannot do this because you know they are completely locked up. So we need to remove that remove that barrier, right? That obstacle we need to remove. How exactly we can do? We go to the submit button. I hope you remember the abstract class and abstract method and method overriding concept. So what I'm gonna do? I will cut this and I'll say this dot test. Test is my method. I'll create this this test method. But this test method is going to be with virtual keyword. And I hope you remember why do we use virtual. Virtual means your parent class will give you a permission to change this test method inside the child class. Okay. So in parent we use virtual and inside the child class we use override. Right. These are the two keywords if you remember the method overriding. So inside this I will paste that code. Okay. Uh, so this is this logic is completely simple now i go to the form 3 here and I, I will go to the code part of that and i will make the override method of that test public override void and i will say test and inside that i need to i need to print that what i need to print first name from child is and last name from child is right i need to separate that out uh, but basically we need we need to use that label for that to print out but you see i cannot I, I, the intelligence is not showing you the label it still it is locked down even though i have this label here but i cannot use inside the code part right so how i how can you use that label go to your design and label 3 go to the go to the property of that once you go to the property and you need to find out something called as private modifiers okay you need to find out the modifiers and change the modifier from private to something called as protected you change it the same way you do for label 4 and you do some same thing for uh, text box one and text box two now you see if you go to the form three here and now you see label three is being shown over here so label three dot text and i will say here first name from child class from child is okay I'll say plus oh text box one dot text copy this and I'll do the same thing for label four last name from child is coming from text box two. See the things are completely different now. So when I run this, you see I'm running form one right now. So what's the thing? Uh, okay. Okay. So this is my public. So when I run this, you see here, when I run this, I'm running right now the parent form. So I will write here John Smith, even though my name is not John Smith, but still I'm writing. So I'll, I'll click on the submit button and you see first name from parent is John and last name from parent uh, is Smith. Okay. So this is this is my parent. Now, now if I run form 2 here, initially, you know, the same output is coming again and again. Even though if I run form 2, the same output is, 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 is executing again and again. Now you see there, there will be there will be one difference here. See, now if I run here and I will say John... This is my form 3 by the way. Don't worry. This is my child class. Okay. So when I click on the submit button, you see here, first name from child is John and last name from child is John. 
even though UI is completely same and similar for 100 forms somehow, but the code is separated out. Okay, so logic is completely different. So you have you have the same UI here. You have the same UI. This is your parent form and this is your child form. The UI is completely same, but the code, but the but the code that you had written is completely different. Okay, so this is the concept of visual inheritance. You can do anything if you want to use the same UI for 100 forms or 1000 forms, then you take inherited inherited form uh, 100 times, then the UI is going to be just like, you know, the, the parent form. In this way, you can work. But then you need to separate the code and the design. So you can use uh, the settings that you had seen inside the video, something like the modifiers, you change it, and then uh, use method overriding and the abstract class or abstract method, you can use that, okay? In that way, you can separate the code and the and the design. I hope you understood understood it, and thank you so much for listening to me.